Hi, welcome back to Real Talk with Sarasota's luxury waterfront specialist, Roger Pettengell. Greetings from Siesta Key, Roger. Uh, it's so nice to be here on the sunny day of November when it's 86 <laughs> degrees. I don't know where our fall weather has gone. <laughs> it was short-lived. We had it last week. <laughs> we did. I thought this morning we'd talk a little bit about the different kinds of architectural styles that are coming to light in our area. You know, years and years ago, everything was Mediterranean. And over the last five or six years, there really is a variety of architecture in the Sarasota area. It is very interesting, right? I mean, actually, if you go back even before the Mediterranean, it just seemed like all you had was these, con you know, block construction ranch houses, right? right? Like, I don't know how long that was around, but certainly more than the 10-year cycle that we're willing to give any style nowadays. Mm -hmm. But as we, I think one of the big changes in was the requirement of elevated homes, right? right? So when the flood insurance rules change and you have to build structures up, you know, just by des that design, you would have to have these very large structures. So I guess the architects, I don't know that much about architecture except to look at it, um, you know, had to adorn those in some style, right? Right. So just like you said, the Mediterranean style was enormous. Like in the early 2000s, probably through the end of the 2000s, you know, that 10-year cycle, everybody wanted the biggest, baddest Mediterranean house <laughs> that you did. could possibly have, particularly <laughs> on the waterfront which worked great. I mean, it's a great style. It really fits into the landscape here. It offers a lot of opportunity for big views and big windows and, you know, still holds today as a good style. It does. But I think when people have come along, they want to, you know, everybody wants to put their mark out and do something that's different. And so when we used to see, we talked a little bit about this one time before, the modern house, you know, the, the old modern houses leaked a lot, right? And I think that's what got people away from them, just the flat roofs and mm -hmm. the windows that couldn't keep the water out. You know, we certainly come past that now to where we can have an effective modern house and people Definitely. love that. Yeah. But what's really interesting are these hybrids. So we've got this coastal contemporary construction, which is now very popular. You know, we're sitting at this house that's called prairie modern construction. New term for me. Right, like, <laughs> you know, that's something that it's just a little different and that makes it really interesting. Yes. So you get the big rooms and the high ceilings, but then you also get the stone finishes and the metal doors. Really, yeah, I think what, what people like when they come to Florida is you know, to experience something different than what they're coming from. So very often you're, you're dealing with somebody from Indiana who has a brick home, right? And, and they don't wanna just have the same thing down here and they're willing to, to open up and, and be open to new styles. And it's exciting to see. I can't wait to see what the next style is gonna be. Right. Well, for an introduction to this prairie contemporary architecture, I hope you'll visit us online at 620mangrovepoint.com. Thanks so much for joining us this week on Real Talk.